Yo, what's going on? What's going on? Um, of course, before we begin, like, comment, subscribe. If you can hit that subscribe button with your knuckles. You're an excellent puncher with knockout accuracy. Let's get right into it, man. It's two things. The first thing is this whole uh, Jesse Smalley, Smollett, whatever the fuck this guy's name is, situation where this dude supposedly had... And I thought it was true when dude was saying that he got jumped by some white supremacists and MAGA hats. And, you know, basically, they the story started to unravel. And then they, they, they grabbed up two Nigerian brothers or whatever like that. And apparently he paid them to jump him for whatever fucking weird reason. And then more shit came down the hatch when you saw uh, Kamala Harris basically jumping on that side. And she had passed the law that uh, made lynching a hate crime, but then slipped in the LGBT clause at the last minute, hoping nobody noticed that shit. Bro, that shit is so, with such a convoluted mess. There's a lot of convoluted messes right now in the industry, and I intend to <laughs> fully pay attention to what the fuck's going on, because the shit is entertaining as hell. How in the flying hell, how in the flying hell can you possibly think you were going to get away with some stupid shit like that? And then the last I heard, this dude fleed Chicago because he had an arrest warrant out for him. So my man knew he was wrong and said, oh shit, shit hit the fan, let me slide. Yo, that's going to make it look even worse for this cat, yo. Like, that shit is, <laughs> it's a fucking, it's a comedy show, man. I'm almost starting to feel like the stuff that's going on is all staged and it, is taking our minds off of the fuck's going on somewhere else. Because there's no way this shit's actually real, man. Like, who is this stupid? Like, oh my gosh. Craziness, man. Absolutely insanity. That situation's a clusterfuck. So that dude's gonna end up doing some fucking time, or I don't know, he, he, I, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what the fuck this guy's gonna do, but the end of the day, it's a convoluted mess. Jumping on to the next topic, I'm not even gonna be on here this long because everything's pretty clear cutting forward, and I'm pretty sure you're aware of what's going on. This Takashi 69 situation. This dude, I'm pretty sure everybody's heard, agreed to testify with the feds and started talking, started singing, snitched on every goddamn body. His whole entire record label's in jail. His goddamn uh, shooter is in jail. Like, oh my God. His damn baby mother just got on the fucking YouTube and did a, a Vlad TV interview where she's putting his business out there. Apparently, she was smashing all his homeboys when he had got a new chick. A whole entire clique ran trains on his girl. They were plotting to kill him and all this stuff. Stole millions of dollars from him. He took a plea deal to avoid 46 years in jail. So now dude's getting out with no time. Um, the guy who he had, he put a hit on somebody and had a shooter to go get the guy. He ended up snitching on a shooter. And now the shooter's getting hemmed up. Yo, this whole shit is it. That's why I said this shit's got to be staged, man. <laughs> There's no way. There's even a rumor floating around that he, he snitched on uh, 21 Savage about his citizenship and got this man hemmed up. Like, that shit wasn't out of nowhere. It was because he started talking. Yo! <laughs> I'm glad I don't know that motherfucker. Hey, I don't do shit wrong, really, but, like, yo, I don't want this motherfucker running his goddamn mouth. That's crazy. This dude is insane, man. Like, yo, this whole situation is crazy. You know, you pretend to be this hard body gangster individual, and then they throw that time in front of your face, and you start telling. And people are justifying this shit. I don't know what's up with this new generation. I have never been a um, a street dude or a street head and no shit like that. I've never been in the streets. But even I know the number one rule that you do not do is snitch. If you are down there getting dirty with everybody else, if you turn over on everyone else, that is not respectable in the street, bro. So snitching is not accepted at all. It's one of those things where there's no pass for it. But you got the new generation trying to justify this shit. These people are legitimately trying to make excuses for this cat. Like, oh, they were trying to kill him. They were they were stealing his money. They were fucking his baby mother behind his back. This and that, this and that. He ain't gonna take no charge for him. Bro, you were out there doing the same grimy shit. And now that you got pinched, you talking about snitching. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, what do you guys think about this whole entire scenario? 
Uh, let me know in the comment section, man. I'm going to be doing another video probably tomorrow, man, because I'm watching this shit unfold. More pieces are falling out. Like, this whole Jussie Smiley situation, I got tired of hearing about this shit, so I actually had to be forced to know what was going on because every single outlet of news and nobody news and people talking about it on my feed constantly on Facebook... People just wouldn't give up on it, so I'm, I'm picking up little pieces here and there. I wanted to ignore the situation because I thought it was irritating. I don't watch Empire, and I don't give a fuck about Justin's Jesse Smiley. So, uh, or Smollett, or whatever the fuck his name is. So, like, I don't give a shit about, about that, either one of them. So, to me, it was like, I don't really give a fuck, but I had, the shit got forced down my throat. So, <laughs> once the pieces started to fall out, and, um... The truth started to come, man. Now this dude's on a run from Chicago police. So who knows, man? That shit is absurd. And Nakashi 6 9 running his mouth. He getting snitched. What the fuck can he do? Like, this dude's gonna have to move to Sweden or some shit. Like, yo, if this guy gets out of jail, he is literally gonna have to go to, like, an area nobody would even think about going to. Like, this, my man has to move to, like, like, fucking Ireland or some shit. Like, yo, my man gotta cut his hair. Or dye his hair black. He got to get them tattoos covered on his face. Somehow he got to pull that shit off. He got to... As soon as he gets out that jail facility and his two feet touch the pavement, he needs to be in the first Uber to the airport to get the fuck out of the USA ASAP. Because this motherfucker is not going to be able to live a regular life. Somebody's going to recognize this cat somewhere. He's too distinctive. Even without the rainbow hair, the tattoos are a dead giveaway. And even without the tats, his face is not exactly forgettable because he kept himself out there in the media so much. I mean, all them stunts he was pulling to stay relevant, them shits, it paid off. Now motherfuckers know his face. He's a household name. And the problem with being a household name is, once you're a household name, it's hard to forget you. Bruh, that guy right there, he gonna need to take the first plane to... New Zealand or some shit like my man needs to move to like some small corner of Japan <laughs> Some small corner of of a countryside Temple in China with the little straw roof roofs that curl up with the ninjas jump on and steal scrolls out, out of in the middle of the night and shit Like I would rather take my chance with ninjas than to deal with motherfuckers who you ran your goddamn mouth on and snitched and got them locked up I'm good <laughs> Yo, My man's gonna have to move to Antarctica and shit <laughs> craziness man like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think yo i'm just enjoying this whole shit because it's fucking crazy meanwhile i'll holler at you guys later have a good night peace